I'm driving and I killed the 07 uh, it's knocking from hell I don't know why I have such bad luck. Oh man, I'm sad. I'm very sad. Yep, it's toast. Man. Yep, it's toast, you guys. Fires on it though. But yeah, she toast. Man, it sucks. I get another block, I'll build another one. I'll get her going again. Ugh, just want to give you guys an update. The 07 
the red 07 XPZ cam car is dead at least for now but it's cool I still need to do a lot of shit so hopefully I can get a, stuff, a bunch of stuff done get the shift kit in get another trans shift kit new filter and pan gasket new fluid get the trans cooler installed Build another engine. I'll build a Series 3 engine this time instead of a Series 2 engine. And go from there. So, she did. I'll keep you guys updated. Thanks for watching. Hey, YouTube. Alright, so, I got off work today. I came over here to my storage. And I went ahead and swapped out the ignition control module and both the other coil packs. And I changed out the uh, cylinder 3 spark plug. And it seems to be running much better now. Um, yesterday I changed the alternator. And I got that one at the salvage yard for like 30 bucks. It's like brand new. And got it hooked up. And charging system is good now. I also replaced that uh, purge solenoid. And this 90 on the PCB system. So pretty much everything's good to go now. AC's working great. Car is staying about 13.4, 13.5 volts at idle. It was shaking real bad because it was misfiring on cylinder 3. But now that I've swapped all the coils and the control module and the spark plug, everything seems to be doing pretty good. <clears throat> and I just cleaned up the wheels and just wiped them down. Give them a nice little shine. Just Windex and a rag. Got all four of them nice and shined up. This one has some crap on it. I just can't get that shit off. I don't know what it is. It's hard. It's almost like glue. But it is what it is. It still shines decent. So... Yeah, that's what I've been doing since I got off of work. Say the uh, the 07, it's still still rod knock, so I'm, I'm kind of bummed out on the 07, the red 07. But at least this one's running and driving good. So I've got pretty much everything swapped around. I got the map sensor swapped. You know, all the other sensors, the alternator, got an extra ground wire on there to help with the. Uh, that charging system issue which didn't fix it and then I even wire wheeled my grounds down here and still didn't fix it so I swapped out the alternator and boom fixed it so still I don't have to buy a battery so that's good the battery's good to go so not bad I got about 350 bucks total into the car now <coughs> And shit, I'm happy with it. So now next thing is I want to get a radio for it. So I can have some music in there. And I do want to get another front bumper and fix that. I did swap the uh, fog lights. So they're not all busted now. That one looked like it was completely gone. <laughs> But it's coming together. I'm pretty happy with it. So just wanted to give you guys a little update. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. Is that a flex plate?
you can kill it, bro. I don't know, what do you guys say? Well, guys, the 06 seems to be running pretty decent. I killed both of the 07s in one week. The red one started knocking the day I got the blue or silver one going. And it lasted a week until this morning. And I don't know, it's either the flex plate or something in the bottom end. It's got a weird noise to it. I'm gonna have to check out the other video, but. So I'm driving the 06. For now, anyways. I've got to figure out what this misfire in cylinder 3 is. I've been fighting it for like two months. But, I don't know, hopefully I can get something figured out. So I've got to go out to the salvage yard and I've got to find two more engines. One for the red car and one for the blue or silver one. So, that's where I'm at right now. So for now I'm driving the 06 and I'll keep you guys updated and let you know what I figure out. So, thanks for watching. Hey YouTube. Alright, so I'm in the process of changing this cable. I've done, I have a cylinder 3 misfire on this. And I've changed everything multiple times. Got brand new spark plugs twice, brand new set of wires. I've changed the ignition control module, the coil packs like four or five different times at least and this is the only other thing I could think of of what why I'm having this cylinder 3 misfire and I know it's getting fuel because I can smell gas out the tailpipes and it shakes when it's misfiring so I know it's getting fuel it's not sparking on cylinder 3 for whatever reason and so hopefully me swapping this harness will help this out but I, to get this off, I actually had to undo this whole harness or this whole bracket. It's got this 15 millimeter nut, this 15 millimeter nut. It has the belt tensioner right there with that 13 on it. And then it has this idler pulley right here with the 15. So all that has to come off. And then you got to undo uh, this piece to the ignition control module, which is a 7 millimeter. And then you got to unplug the crank sensor and the cam position sensor and snake these wires up between the uh, coolant neck off of the time and chain cover. You go into the radiator. The wires go right between this and the block. And then comes up right here between the bracket and the head. Well, you guys, I fucking killed another one. The 06 is done. I think it threw a rod through the block. Oil went everywhere. It's all over the whole underside of the car. All over the trunk. I mean, look at this shit. Just, that's oil. It's fucking everywhere. It even bent the dipstick. It won't even go all the way in the fucking hole. Something's fucked. But yeah, it went boom. Blue white smoke. Said low oil pressure. Reduced engine power. And she died. And now the battery's too dead. I had to tow it home with a chain. I drove it as far as I could. It made it a lot worse, but... Engine's done. So now I need three engines. One for this, one for that, one for the red one. I know this one might just be the flex plate, but now I don't even have a fucking car to get to work. Cause now they're all blown up. Awesome. Yep, I guess I'm done for a while. I'm pissed. Should have bound. I got hit. I 
has this pullback bumper lid. I don't know how it goes. Alright, hey YouTube, so it is Saturday night, it's about 11.30, so I got up this morning, and I went out to the salvage yard, and I found this, it was in a 2006, that had been T-boned, I have a clip of it, that I'll insert here, uh, I don't know how many miles are on the engine, but I cleaned it up some, just wiped down the pulleys and, you know, try to get some of the dirt and crud off. I swapped out the oil filter. I swapped out the coils. Um, haven't done a whole lot, you know, just kind of cleaned it up a little bit, put it on the stand. But I also found this uh, K&N air filter on a O2 GTP and it was like untouched whole engine supercharger everything's still there so I also took the uh, boost fucking boost sensor and the or the boost valve and some of the uh, vacuum hose for it and I also got this uh, thermostat housing it's like almost brand new and so the engine was 250 plus a 75 dollar core plus tax and I had the core, which was the original engine, out of the bluish silver car. So I ended up taking that with me and saved 75 bucks. So it was like $300 for the full engine with all the accessories and the harness. And then he just threw in the intake. He didn't charge me for any of the other stuff I got. But and I kind of want to take this engine and strip it down and use it as the 07s engine because it is a series 3 and it's a lower mileage engine and the car was actually really nice except for the, you know the damage and it got dirty from the windows being down but overall the car looked to be pretty decent and it looked like it was taken care of and just shit happened and but I'm definitely going to drain the oil and put some fresh oil in it and probably run it for like 50 miles or something and then or maybe like 20 miles and then drain it again and do another fresh oil change once it's in the car but I don't know what I'm thinking about doing is just pulling the engine out of the black 06 and just dropping this in there and swapping the computer back to the NA computer because I still have it and then that way the 06 will be good to go and it should just fire right up and run and drive and then that way I don't have to worry about that transmission fucking up and because I thought that noise was the transmission but evidently it was the engine and yeah so I lost cylinder 3 piston or rod still haven't pulled it out yet so I don't know but and I was kind of wanting to use this for the 07, but I think I'm just going to put it into the 06. And that way I can just pull that engine out, throw it on the stand, get this one in the car. And then, because I'm wanting to use one of the heads that's on the, the, o, the black 06 right now, the rear head, because I know it's good. And then out of the two heads I got from Michigan, 
for the Grand Am, one of those is was good. The rear one was good. So I took the studs out of the front one and put them into the rear one. So I'll have one good front head and one good rear head that are untouched. Don't have to mess with them. And so yeah, that's what I'm going to end up doing with that. So I need to get both the engines out pretty much because these two heads are series two heads and so they have a little bit smaller valves than the series three heads but i've already put new valve seals and everything in them so those are going to go on the grand am and also in the black 06 it has the arp head studs because i used them on that engine instead of this one so whenever this one goes back together it's going to get the arp head studs with the cam and the double roller and the LS7 lifters, everything that's in this is going to go into an engine exactly like this, but it's going to get stripped down. And that's what I was going to do, but I don't know. I need to, I need to just get something going over the weekend because my stepmom was kind of left, kind enough to let me borrow her truck so I could get back and forth to work for the last few days, and so I could go out to the salvage yard and get this engine, and so. I'm just, uh, I went and washed her truck at the car wash and power washed the bed out. And because I got oil all in the bed, I just set it on this tire. You see that tire in there? I threw the core on it, took it out there. It helped me unload the core and helped me get this one set back up there. So all was good. I didn't really record a whole lot of anything while I was there, I was just trying to get it done. And it got hot on me, and I even called him on the phone once I had it out. I was like, hey, I'm out in your yard in row three. I need help getting this engine. And they're like, all right, I'll send someone out. No one ever showed up. I waited like 45 minutes. So finally, I just went and found another wheelbarrow. It was a two-wheel in the front wheelbarrow. And I just set this thing right down in the wheelbarrow and pushed it up there inside and because I did all that extra work and everything and because I called him and they said they were going to send someone and never did I think that's why he didn't charge me for the other stuff that I got but it's cool it was like $300 for this full complete engine with the harness and everything all the accessories so I'll be able to pull this power steering pump off and use the one that's still in the car so I don't have to disconnect any lines and yeah, but everything else should just be plug and play and throw the belt back on and boom good to go so that's going to be my goal for this weekend is to get this into the black 06 i got to get the car over here so and i guess we'll just see how it goes but yeah it was a pretty good day today at the salvage yard i had i mean yeah it was kind of a pain in the ass it was hot but I got the full engine and I even got to keep all the bolts and all the brackets and cover, dust covers. And then, you know, the K and N, shoot, that right there is a, was a really good find. And I mean, I don't know, it was worth it to me for everything I got. So I'm happy with it. But yeah, so tomorrow I'm going to end up getting the 06 over here and. Get that engine pulled out and get this one put in so I'll update you guys whenever I have the black 06 in route hey YouTube so it is Saturday the 10th July 10th and got the Grand Prix over here today the 06 we took it over here with a car dolly got the battery charged up fired right up so my goal is to pull this engine out and get the NA1 put in, swap out the computer, and it should be good to go. But so, for everyone that don't know, all three of my cars broke down within like 11 days of each other. The red 07, it started knocking, so I started driving the blue silver one, drove it for a week. That motor started making a weird noise, ended up locking up the other day. And so, then I started driving this one, I drove it for three days, and threw a piston rod through the block so yeah this engine is junk went out to the salvage yard pulled this engine I was gonna strip this engine down 
and pretty much do a top swap with it for the red 07 but i decided just to throw this engine in here and just put it back to na so that's my goal for today by tonight i'm hoping to have that engine in here hooked up running and driving <laughs> so i just want to give you guys a little update i got all new fluids for everything i got new oil new oil filter antifreeze brake cleaner brake fluid power steering fluid I got everything that i should need so i'm gonna get all start getting this torn apart get up on jack stands and Hopefully I can have that engine in here by tonight. And hopefully it doesn't start raining because it looks like it's going to rain on me. But I keep you guys updated as I go. So thanks for watching. Hey guys, look, there's the hole. Say hi, Cam. I'm surprised this thing was even still running like that. That shit's total. The pan and the block is done. Crazy. Can't wait to get this thing out of here and actually see it, but. That thing is done. So. It's all good. Shacked up. It's on stands. Ugh. Oh crazy all right you guys well i'm gonna get you on the uh, tripod and i'm gonna get to work getting this taken out of here because i'm on a fight fight between time and a race I'm trying to beat this rain so i'm gonna stop playing around and get this shit done and i'll keep you updated all right you guys well it's been a couple hours but i've got pretty much everything disconnected except for the rear bell housing bolt back there uh, and the exhaust back there but pretty much everything else is disconnected I've got all the bell house the other four bell housing bolts out they're all right there I've got the starter out I've got the flywheel torque converter bolts out I've got those dust shields off they're over there I've got the dog bones off I got both the belts off I got the radiator hoses off, I've got the uh, heater core hoses off, I've unbolted the power steering pump, so it is out of the way, I unplugged the rear O2 sensor and the speed sensor so the harness is free of everything except for the engine itself, and yeah, other than this one mount down here see i've got this mount i've got a couple bolts out but there's still one more going that way actually there's two more but there's one right there and then one up there right above it so i still got to get those two 15 millimeter bolts out and then this bracket will be out of my way and then I can get to that last rear bell housing bolt. And then the engine's ready to pull out. So it's getting there. It's only been a couple hours. I'm trying to just get it done. It hasn't started raining yet, so that's good. But uh, yeah, I guess whenever I put this all back together, the last time I never put my, uh, my rear hook, you know, like this one never put the rear one back on so I just had to bolt the chain to the alternator bracket shouldn't have any issues even if I do oh well it's junk block it's got a huge hole in it yeah. look this chunk of block and oil pan so I got total this is like right where the uh, oil pickup tube goes in Fucked. But yeah, you know, it's coming along, it's coming along. So I'm just about ready to get this thing pulled out of here and then I can get this one off the stand and get it set back in there with this harness and pretty much just plug everything in. So I'm gonna keep on 
moving along i just want to give you guys a little update let you know how it's going so stay tuned all right so engine is out look at this hole size of my hand yeah that's that whole piece of that block I ain't even all of it that's only a piece of it this is the piece that goes here it's still missing that piece that's probably the piece that went flying that's crazy That's ridiculously crazy. But yeah, she's out. So, I get this thing pulled out of here and set it down over here. And then get this one off the stand. And get it set down in there. Start getting this thing hooked up. That flex plate, but it's all good. <sighs> this transmission's been doing great, so I'm gonna keep rocking it. Yep, yep. That's that's where my knocking was coming from. So, <laughs> but yeah, I killed this one. And it's funny, I pulled this engine. Out of another Grand Prix I had before I put it in here and that was a series 3 look this is a series 2 so somebody had already changed the block in that car before I got it and put the engine in here and then later on to the top swap so this was a series 2 this ain't even the same original engine out of that car it's crazy but yeah so this is it. We'll get this one in here and keep you guys updated. Alright you guys, well, I've got the engine set in here. I did accidentally break the uh, little nozzle off the radiator right here for the overflow. So I'm going to have to figure out something for that. But other than that, everything went nice. Engine sitting down in there in place. I've got it bolted up to the transmission on the bell housing side. I still got to get the rear one in, and but it is set down in there. So all I got to do now is just get this uh, engine mount right here to set in place correctly. It's close. It's going to come up a little bit on the side and go backwards, but it's pretty close. So, and then once I get that in place then I can set it down get it bolted in get the flywheel torque converter bolts in get the starter back in power steering pump on I'll start getting all this stuff all hooked up get the exhaust back hooked up so it shouldn't be too long a couple more hours I should have everything hooked back up and I already got the new oil and oil filter on it and in it so then it's just going to be the coolant and I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do about that. But I'll figure something out. I'll just block it off if I have to. I don't give a shit. So. But, yeah, it's getting there. So, just want to give you guys another update. Engine's in. Alright, so I got the motor mount set in place. Got it bolted down. And it is off the chain. It is fully supported under its own mounts. So now it's just hooking everything up. I gotta get the uh, power steering pump bolted back on. And get my rear bell housing bolt put back in. Get that mount bracket put back on. And then just plug everything in. And then I just gotta worry about fixing this piece on the radiator because I don't have a whole nother radiator to swap out. God, I can't believe that happened, but maybe if I can find the piece, maybe I can just super glue that on or something, but I don't know. 
But that's all I gotta do. Get all this hooked back up and I'll be done. So I'll keep you guys updated. Stay tuned. Hey guys, so I've got everything hooked up. I still gotta get that bracket over on that side that bolts the engine and transmission together, but it's gonna be the first start. guys well I got the car mostly together I still have to hook up the exhaust but I got the rear O2 sensor on got the rear bell housing bolt on got the bracket on got the bar on that goes over the battery right there I've got pretty much everything hooked up except for the exhaust so that's really all that's holding me up and then that uh, piece I broke off the radiator for the overflow but it just started raining fucking sucks and I was almost almost got done so just like 95 98% of the way done I still got to bleed the cooling coolant and add the Freon to the AC I still got to get it off jack stands but it's come a long way today it's come a long way Engine sounds nice and strong and healthy. This fires right up, so I'm, I'm pretty stoked about that. So at least now I'm gonna have a daily again that's not my stepmom's truck. I really appreciate her letting me borrow it for the last week. And it sucks I haven't been able to smoke while I'm driving because I don't want to smoke in a truck. She asked me not to, so. I have a bad habit is every time I get in my car I light a cigarette and it's been super hard not to smoke in her truck but um, I'm definitely glad to have my own car going again so that's uh I'll keep you guys updated as I get the last bit of this done but I'm gonna have to wait till the rain stops so give me a couple more hours I got the flashlight I'll get under there and get it hooked up so Stay tuned, I'll keep you guys updated. Thanks for watching. Hey YouTube. Alright, so it stopped raining. Not bad. It's starting to dry up a little bit in some spots. But so I've continued working on the 06. I've got almost got both of the exhaust bolts all the way tight. I've got the rear O2 sensor plugged in before it started raining. So pretty much everything was done except for the exhaust and this little piece before it started raining so now I've almost got the exhaust connected I just gotta finish getting the bolt snug they're most of the way down but the car fires right up and runs great so it's getting there it's just about ready to go and I did manage to get the uh, heat shield in there with uh, this was part of the K&N air intake that I got from the salvage yard off that 99 GTP but it works so now I've just got to figure out something for this little piece right here and finish getting that exhaust tightened up and it's good to go so that's what I'm doing right now is just finishing up this exhaust. I just want to give you guys an update Let you know it stopped raining And then tomorrow Once this is a hundred percent done running and driving and good to go Then I'm gonna start tearing this engine apart. I need to get this blower and the heads and to Get all this stuff off of this engine. I need this rear head for the red 07 
because these are series two supercharged heads that's on there and they were a, a light port and polish and these are just factory series three they have a little bit bigger valves and I'm gonna go ahead and just use these uh, since they have the bigger valves and so since that front one that's on this engine that came out of the 06 that just blew up uh, ever since I did the top swap it's had a cylinder 3 misfire since the day that I did the swap it's had cylinder 3 misfire and that's exactly where it fucked up the block cylinder 3 there's cylinder 3 Boom. But so I'm pretty sure that this front head has some issues with it. So I'm just going to use this valve cover. And I'm going to use that front valve cover for this head. I'm just going to paint this head red. This is the one I got from Michigan that was also the rear head. And I just swapped the studs and put the bracket on it. So I'll have two, two good heads off of two destroyed engines that both of them destroyed a piston and a cylinder. And yeah, so I'm going to end up with both these rear heads. This one's converted to the front. I'm going to get it painted red to match the other one. And I actually picked up a brand new can. Gloss Cherry Red. I love this stuff. And yep, so I'm gonna get that other head painted, get this head off, get a bunch of these parts off the CGR, and there's just a lot of stuff I need to rob off this engine. And then that way, once I get that engine out, I can get the supercharger and all my other goodies off of that one the cam, double roller, LS7 lifters, all that stuff. And I'm gonna get another block from I don't know if I'm gonna get it from a junkyard or if I'm just gonna take the original one and to the machine shop and just have them redo it probably be cheaper just to go get another junkyard block <laughs> but I am gonna get an, a series 3 block for it so that's what the next project I got going on still in the midst of the Grand Am build and I still got the parts Grand Am out in Salisaw that I've got to get back out here. Um, I found a, another car dolly, so I'm going tomorrow to pick up another car dolly for 500 bucks. It's in better condition than the one that I had that I destroyed. So we're going to go tomorrow, get that other car dolly, and I, know I might end up using the Ranger to go grab it. And then once I get the car dolly, then I'll be able to go pick up the car in Salisaw and bring it back. So I'll have the parts Grand Am for the five-speed stuff. And I've just got to figure out somewhere to park it so I can strip it down of its parts. And I've also got to rob some stuff off that car from our mom's Grand Am. But overall, everything's coming together really well. Today was a very successful and productive day I got that blown up supercharged engine out of here and got this NA one in here and she runs she purrs so that's my little update for today and that's gonna be probably it for this video once I get this thing completely done I'll do another do a little startup and a little drive around here just to to show you guys that it's good to go and that's probably going to be it for the video but thanks for watching you guys stay tuned all right you guys so i finally got both the exhaust bolts in they're nice and tight i ended up just moving the car from that puddle of water over here to where it's dry and just jacked it up and climbed under there and hit it with the impact so I'm about to see how quiet it is. Hopefully it's a lot better than what it was. Oh, much better. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Much better. got to get this to work but I don't know what I'm going to do with that I'll figure something out the heck yeah I'm stoked on that it's running much better so quiet Heck yeah, I'm stoked. I don't know how I'm going to get that to attach to that, but I'll figure something out. But man, overall, it's running great. That's nice. Very nice. That's smoking a little bit. I hope I don't have a blown head gasket. Or bad lower intake manifold gasket. Probably not. It's been sitting for a week and a half, two weeks. Since it blew up. <laughs> Probably got some condensation in there. And Probably burning off a lot of that extra gas that was in the from that cylinder three misfire. But man, this thing's running smooth. That's for 300 bucks for an engine, probably could have bought a whole nother car for that. In a cheap one, but oh well. Got the battery charged up. It's good. Got those MSE coils on. See, I knew those coils were good, and I just kept misfiring on that engine. Running so smooth. I'm excited. I'm happy about that. So. Alright, you guys. Well, this could be it for this video for tonight. I'm going to make a start my next video tomorrow whenever I come over here start tearing that engine apart so I'll be back over here tomorrow but for tonight that's gonna be it so like comment subscribe stay tuned for more content comment down below let me know what you think of the of everything and I mean I don't care if it's positive or negative I just want to read your comments see what y'all think so you guys have a good night thanks for watching Stay tuned for more.